the beginning, there was no city or sims. See that? It's just you and the land. Until you finish shaping your city's terrain or terraforming, that's all you've got. God Mode provides you with all the tools you need to be a landscape artiste. Terraforming is one of the most important steps in starting a new city, so you should take enough time to plan before you move on from this stage. As the craftsmen say, failing to plan means you plan to fail. There are four functions within God Mode, and each of these has several functions within it. I'll discuss each of these terraforming options you have moving from top to bottom. The Make Mountains button allows you to raise the terrain with a gentle slope or with Andean scale peaks if you choose. This button creates mountains, hills, mesas, steep hills, and cliffs. The Gouge Valleys tool allows you to lower terrain. If you want to see rivers or lakes, use these tools to lower the terrain below sea level. This tool creates valleys, steep valleys, canyons, shallow valleys, craters, and shallow canyons. The Level Terrain tool allows you to level terrain for different effects. This button contains erosion, planes, quick level brush, soften, and plateau. The Seed Forest tool is self-explanatory. The Create Fauna tool lets you decide what sort of creatures you'd like your sims to encounter. You can put the following types of animals in your city. Horses, woodland animals, wild animals. Once you've done the basic ups and downs of terraforming, you can refine your city's appearance with the Terrain Effects tool, or not. If you choose, you may erode, smooth, raise the terrain, or lower the terrain. But wait, did you remember to make your borders a perfect match with your neighboring cities? <coughs> you don't have to do this, but if you suddenly have mountains blocking access to a city next door, your economy will suffer greatly. If you do want to match your edges, the Reconcile Edges tool is an easy way to do this, but be careful. I recommend you do this early in the terraforming process. Had a bad day? Approaching the end of the quarter or semester? How about raining meteors down on your unsuspecting sims? Well, this is where your mayoral powers might start going to your head. I won't go through each of the disasters you can cause, but I don't advise you to create disasters before you get permission to do so. The last decision you have to make in God Mode is how, or if, you want the sun or moon to rise and set. You can have day only, night only, or a normal day and night cycle. And that's God Mode. Time to move on to being a mayor.